Hello everyone, we are back playing Jurassic World the game, and I think it's episode 10, a big episode uh, milestone, but um, it's a quite a big episode today because we've got a few things, let's just turn a bit of the sound on, so as you can see we've got five battles, um, Monster of the Deep, I don't even have three pterosaurs rare, wow, so don't think we'll be able to do that. <laughs> Just yet, anyway. And as you could see, then I've actually reached max level, which is insane because I was actually at level six, 60 or something when I started this series, and I've just leveled up so fast. But everything's okay. So, as you can see, Trudon next episode will be all done. And wow, well, I'm excited for that. And Stixosaur is level 20. Yes, yeah, Stixosaur is level 20. So, what we're going to do is just put in. Um, so as you can see, we got, we got a Dimetrodon in the Battle Stage Infinite last night, but I didn't think it was worth recording. Let's just put Kappa Sutures in, because why not? And then just put in... I'm not going to put Lectoclidus in that slot, because we um, we need it for a big creature. Uh, let's put a Monite in, let's get a level 20. There we go. Perfect. So, today, what we're going to actually do... Yeah, I don't think we're going to do the pterosaurs pack. I'm just going to take you a bit, like, take you around after we do this Monsters of the Deep event. Um, and then that should be all good. Maybe a few Ceratosaurus um, matches, but... Oh, let, let's level, let, let's just have a quick look at an undersuit. I actually um, got this guy in a pack, and um, I forgot to show you him because they actually did a recording, but it messed up, so... That one just completely went out the window, but it looks so good. I wish I could show you his feeding animation, but... And I'm not going to be wasting many bucks on speeding things up, because we're going to try to save up, because I've been spending a lot recently, like, speeding things up in the hatchery or evolution. And so, yeah, let's just jump straight into Monsters of the Deep. Hmm. So, a uh, cave. So what do we need? Obviously... Uh, let's level up Ammonite first, actually. I forgot to do that. Ammonite. We need to see his um, level. He's a eating animation. Because why not? <laughs> wow, that is so good. I'm sorry, but that is probably the best eating animation by far. I, I'm, it's just so... Watch it. Just Poor little fishy, swimming, swimming, swimming. And then in comes a big snail-looking thing. <laughs> And just sucks it in with its tentacles. That is what you call it. Right. Let's just watch it one more time. Because we can. Oof. Just sweeps in. It's so good. Uh, so now that that's done, we'll just go over to Monsters of the Deep. And we will put in, 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 in. We've only got one reef. Wow. What happened to what? We've only been given one reef. That's pretty poor, actually. I've only just realised. So that means we can only take down, um, what they call it, air surfaces with just leptocliders, which is pretty, pretty of a hard challenge, if you ask me. But, um, let's jump into this by just using Stixasaur. Even though it'll, even if it's nerfed, the Dakasaur, it still have quite a lot of health, but uh, about 150, yeah, 150. And we'll have 164, so, which is pretty, pretty awful for a legendary level 10 but look at its health it's just insane its health so let's just do one two three and then we'll probably attack this next time let's have a look three yeah may as well so, so, yeah so we can kill it in three so it's obviously going to go for it there we go six of Saw gets the first victory hopefully we can see a monite eating animation because that'll be really good That'll be really good. Um, but there, there you go, there's six of saws, uh, victory. I, I haven't seen that many, well, I haven't noticed it many times, but I wish I would have, because it's pretty, pretty good. And I just love its neck, actually. Its neck's so well, you know, designed and everything, but, you know. So, let me just have a quick look at... So, we need to go over to pterosaurs. So, Tapi, Tapiara, Jesus, Young, Zyoktoris... <laughs> Jung Opteras, um, aka Banana Beak, as um, people like to say, but 
I'm not going to say just copying people's uh, names for creatures because I don't think you guys want to see that. Um, so we've got eight Colobrinkuses. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. So that so that means that like, we've got a level forty Tapiara. That means that we need to get to like level forty, level ten Jung Jupiterus, which will take a lot of time, and it's probably not worth it for a super rare pack. Let's be honest. So we're just going to go into round two. What is it? It's a Mosator and a Megalodon on the same side for once, because it's usually always the other way around. <laughs> So what we're going to put in is in fact hmm. um right, this is a tough one actually, but I just only just realised. So let's put in Megalodon Lectoclidus. Yeah, let's do that. Because Megalodon can surely take out at least one of them, because ours is better than theirs, but Hopefully, because then Leptoclidus can come in and just take them both out, take them both out, even if he doesn't. But um, what I was going to talk about is it's early in the morning, so I'm doing my best just to keep awake. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I'm lay down kind of, so I might sound a bit different. Whoa, what just happened then? Did it, did anyone just see that? There's, so there we go. He's killed it. So that's the thing about Megalodon. It's so it's it's. Um, health is so weak, it's just, it's ridiculous. So it's not going to attack. We don't even need him, I don't think. We didn't even need him. No, we did not. Megalodon gets the double kill as usual on the Mosasaur and the Megalodon. Swoop, swoop, swoop. Ooh, that is, that is pretty good, I'll admit. <laughs> even though I'm not a, a huge fan, like, I love Megalodon, but... My favourite is, as you all know, uh, Chromosaur, and then probably followed up by Styxosaur very, very closely because I don't know. Uh, like with everything with Pred Predator X, it's just it was just so good. So it's a cave and two surfaces. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hmm. Let's use Dunkelostis, because why not? Actually, it doesn't matter either way, because he's probably going to swap out for Megalodon, and Megalodon's going to just take us out. Um, that. So let's do that. I can't think what to do. My mind's just gone blank because I'm so tired today. Uh, right, let's waste about 70 bucks. It seems though we'll get it back anyway. Hopefully, anyway. Um, so let's use Leptocliders. And may as well get Meg. If you can choose between for the same price, Sticks of Sort or Megalodon, for the exactly same bucks, then you're mostly going to get Megalodon, aren't you? Because of its health. I know it's its attack. So let's go into that for 500,000 coins, which is pretty. Like it's quite a, a quite a big amount if you ask me, but yeah. Oh, I forgot to use a mana. Oh, for God's sake! I forgot to use him. But ah well. So as you can see, we always knew he was going to bring him in. So if he can kill us in, he can waste quite a lot, like six or something on us when he has the chance. Then we can just hit straight out and kill him. Um, who's the one making the nut? Is it um, sticks or saw? So how many how many ple plesiosaurs do you guys know? I know like cam cameras camera saw yeah um like the actual plesiosaur plesiosaurus stixosaur that's really it to be honest I don't I don't really know many I think there's one more that I know um but I think is it camera saw that was in planet dinosaur I think. Anyway, I'm not sure, but um, we got quite a few hits off on him. So he's got 575. So just scratching my nose. Um, 570. Yes, yeah, so he's going with a six, obviously. Does that mean he has eight? Let's just say account for that he has eight, because I really don't know. All right, one. Hopefully four. One, two, three, four. One. Let's just do that. 
Yeah, there. I had to go for that, so it's a good job I did. Because then in comes Megalodon, which is still a bit of a tank. Even though his health is nerfed by quite a lot. But obviously he's going to... St well, we have 36... Oh, wow, okay. We need to get Leptoclidus out of here. So let's go. I don't know why I turned Australian. <laughs> um... So we've got six, so we can't kill us in one with Megalodon, so he's not going to go for it. As you can see, then we're going to swap out again. This is like, oh, how? <laughs> one, two, three, four, one. We should do that. Perfect. That's what I mean. I think we're going to level uh, Leptoclidus to level 30 because his attack is, is just dreadful. It's, it's actually awful. So we went for three. Right, I don't know how many he had, so I'm not going to attack. I'm just going to do that. Yes, yeah, so we had four, so we wouldn't be able to kill him. Which is very good for us. So it guarantees us the win. Go on, Megalodon, do your eight. Eight, 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 eight. Do it, do it, do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Rawr. Look how many attacks. Oh, look how many, um, how much points. Points. I mean health. Look how many. Oh, 7,669. Off a level 20 Megalodon, which is insane. Ammonite is down, and Megalodon gets the victory yet again. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Because this now. Uh, this now a lot. Actually, to be fair, I've only just realised the battles like really vary. You know, in terms of one minute the. Like, one time they're really average, sometimes they're awful, sometimes they're really hard. Like, level 40s, but let's open this super rare pack. Bam. So we got our, all our books back, and we get Spinosaurus, as you can see there. Perfect. Well, it's not perfect, but... Big Lou Rizika, uh, getting in my videos yet again. <laughs> wow, the sick. So as you can see, Battle Stage Infinite, I don't see the point of doing it for a common pack, so I'm not going to... So we've saved up about 400 bucks so far since last night, so it's pretty decent actually. Um, so let's just go over to this guy, if I can find him, this guy, there, there he is. That I met on the first time, I've literally just hatched him, it's the first time I've seen him level, level 20. So, I'm quite excited to see him and he looks so good. I love it, absolutely love him. <laughs> Like, he's not my favourite, like, everyone really likes him, you know, like, Unicorn Wizard. But, I just, I, I quite like him, yeah. So, I mean, we, we're racking up the Spinosaurs. So, let's just have a bit of a, so we've got, so we need three more Ragisauruses without even buying one to get a full maxed out level 40, don't we? Yes, we do. So, I mean, they keep getting spammed off people, it's quite annoying, actually. <laughs> uh, especially on Snapchat and that. But it's people I don't even speak to or anything. Right. This has been quite a short, see what I mean? This has been quite a short episode, I think. Actually, maybe not, it's been quite long. Uh, but if you've enjoyed this episode, leave me a like, leave me a comment telling me what you've enjoyed, and if you want to see more from me, Miki. And yeah, I'll catch you later. Good. Bye. Hello everyone, we are back, and if this is going up at the same time, I think in the same video as the one before, well, I'm doing this because, as you can see, we have a battle stage infinite, but I just want to see this, I think this is the same as the one that I had yesterday, a level 38 Indominus Rex, a level 38, you've seen it right everyone. Um, so what we're going to actually do, I think we can take it out with our best two. So to draw Indominus out, I think, right, so we need someone with more than 1,000. Well, let's just do Stegoceratops as a bit of a meat shield. 
and then Coolasaurus, then Indominus Rex. See how that goes. So one million coins. Let me just turn the telly off. Deal or no deal is just playing in the background. There we go. Much better. <laughs> uh, well, that's a bit loud. Sorry about that. Let me just turn it down a bit. So we're going to just try and reserve. And what I can say, in terms of how to, like, that's what I mean, this game just does cheat you out of it. Like, as you just see now, it cheats you out, it's as simple as that. Um, but what we're going to do is hit, as we can see, you can we can kill it in one hit. And then, so that can't kill us in one, and the Indominus Rex can't kill us in one hit, so we're just going to do a reserve. Because if it swaps out for Indominus, it can't kill us in one, it's as simple as that. But is it going to? It decides to do absolutely nothing. It's going to do that. There we go. Perfect. He is down. And the main tip that I can say to you is always put in a meat shield. Someone who has more health than their one hit. So you can just basically draw out their attacker. That's the best tip that I can possibly give to you. Uh, so it's just. So why did it just go for a full out four? That made no sense. Absolutely no sense. But it works out very well for us. But yeah, um, if if you have the chance to put in a meat shield, do it. Just take the chance because it helps so much. As you can see here, it's been so easy for me against a level 14 Dominus Rex. So Coolosaurus gets the victory and we get a legendary pack, which is amazing. I got a legendary pack last yeah, yesterday and I actually got uh, some books actually. Yeah, I got some books. So... I'm going to do that. So we've got books again, which is fantastic. Like, I was watching Beaver yesterday. Um, I can't remember which episode it was. But you're saying how the like how the battle stage uh, infinite never gives you books. But for me, it always does. It's weird. There you go. 500 books and a Ichio Stega. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, right, there we go. Ichio Stega, which is... Perfect. Let me just screenshot that again. Sorry about all the screenshots. Which is perfect. And we get a little common pack as well. Two box, a hundred, which is fantastic because we've actually made 1,000. No, we've got another one. What? I'm sorry, but I'm I'm doing this. And look how easy it is. <gasps> I swear this isn't like... Is this actually... What? Everyone, are you actually seeing this, everyone? If, have you actually just seen this? Wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. So I'm going to do that. Actually, no, put in. We may as well use the best one, since we're not going to be using them for anything else. Because we come against a full on. Let's see if we can do it. I'm not even joking. This has probably been one of the luckiest things ever. And I'm not over exaggerating that. Even you guys can admit that is very, very lucky. <laughs> So even if we don't earn a box pack, we've already we've made so much profit recently off the off the uh, packs. So it's all good for me. And but if we do, it will be absolutely amazing. I'm sorry, but that would be insane. But we get a free legendary uh, creature basically as well in two in in like the same episode. So it's going to go for a full on six, which is fantastic for us. So we're going to do a four hit, I think, and reserve four. Yeah, because we even if we kill it in four, we don't want to. Oh, we can nerk it in three, but perfect. Because it went out. Um, so as as you can see here, you don't need to buy back your creatures. If you do it well, keep on reserving. Wait for it to take your first creature out, then just go from there. Because as you can see here, it's worked out perfectly for us. My battles, I've been paying a lot more concentration when I've been on uh, doing the commentaries because I was pretty. Like I, I just, I was just making stupid mistakes, um, you know, because I was focusing more on you guys than on the actual game, which everyone does it. Let's be honest, Beaver does it, uh, T Rex does it, Bogdan does it, Vert all the, all the YouTubers does it, Vertigo, everyone. But yeah, so it's not an excuse. It's just I was doing pretty poor. So it's has to be six. So it's got one, one block. Yes, it's got one block. So what we're going to do with Ostrophocosaurus is. Hopefully we can kill it in two. No, we can only just. Uh, and let's just hope for. Let's just hope that it doesn't attack. Basically, we're just testing our luck hugely here. Just please don't, because we need all hitters. Yeah, we need all hits for it to work out. Um, 
Yes, and I think we've won. Have we won? Yeah, we have. Fantastic. Even if he goes to a full-on four, which he does not. So that is fine by me. Oshrofikasaurus gets the victory. Kills uh, the third Stegoceratops. And that is very, very good indeed. So we're going to get the um, legendary pack. I don't know why it's glitched out, though, giving us a common pack as well. It's ridiculous, actually. Wow. <laughs> that is actually insane. Screenshot that again. And we get a box again? What? We get another... Wow, that is insane. And a prion suit, just which is... Let me just screenshot that as well, like I always do. That is insane. If you guys love my look and want to see more, imagine if we got another one, uh, then leave me a comment, leave me a like. This deserves a like. Like you've, oh, it, it deserves a like for being so lucky. But if you enjoyed this episode, leave me a like on this video. And go check out the fur, uh, the, the fervor, the prayer, uh, the. I can't think what I'm saying. Um, the ones in the past. So, episode one was a bit of a slow start because it, I, it was new to the whole commentating th uh, side of things. But we've picked up. We've, we're doing it, like amazing for subscribers, amazing for views and likes. And I can't thank you guys enough. So if you've enjoyed this episode, as I said, leave a like, leave me a comment, and for more from me, Miki. Yeah, I, I don't know what else to say, but yeah, I, I don't know. I had a bit of a blank spot, a little of a blank spot then. But uh, yeah, it's been Miki, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.